Hello, my loves. Let's jump right into child's pose. Just take a moment here to settle. Let each exhale get longer and longer. Two more cycles of breath. different variation of a stretch uh, than we've probably done in any of these series. So you're going to take your left arm, you're going to thread it under. Oh, you can hear my back popping. You're going to drop your head to the ground, and then you're going to open your top arm up. Now, Bethany, my love, I bet you can actually get your arm on the ground behind you. The rest of us are just going to stay here really uncomfortable. Come back to center. Other side. So threading the right arm through and then picking the left arm up. Again, I'm going to cheat here. If you're super open, you do that. I'm not super open. I'm not going to do that. Oh, heavens, yeah. And come back to the center, all fours. Three cow cat. Final one. Come to a flat back. Now we're going to take an opposite stretch. This time you're going to bring your hip to the side, back to the center. Other side, back to the center. Do that two more times. Sorry, I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure why it sounded like I was talking to my human listening device. Sorry. And center. Tuck the toes, lift the legs, down dog. Walk your legs wide and halfway up the mat. So my feet are off my mat. I'm taking a wide, semi-wide legged forward fold here. Hands come to the shins. Halfway lift with this wider stance. Left hand to the ground, bend the right knee, twist up. Other side. Bending into the left leg, lifting the left arm. Back to the center. Working the palms flat if you can, roughly six inches, maybe that's like a foot, in front of the feet. And I want you to just rock back onto the heels, press up onto the toes. Your hands should be nice and supportive underneath you. If they're not, grab a block. A couple more. 
come back to the center. Feel the weight of your body nice and secure, more so on the balls of the feet than the heels. Walk the hands closer, closer, closer to the feet. Maybe the fingertips line up with the toes. And fold again. Halfway lift. Come on to the knees. I want you to line up the elbows under the shoulders. So measure, fingertips touch elbows, they come out. You're gonna make a pocket with your hands. You're gonna put the crown of your head, the crown of your head in that space. You're gonna pop up onto your toes. Here, this is it. Now press so your head lifts off the floor. Do about five of those where you're pressing so much with your shoulders that the head lifts off the ground. Try that a couple more times. And then find some wall where there's nothing precious. And we're going to set up for a traditional headstand with wall support, okay? You're going to take that same distance, shoulder width apart, press onto the toes, bring the knees up, okay, knees first. Woo. And then I might need to do a scoot a little further back. So as you bring the knees up, the goal is to stack the knees over the hips. And then you've got the wall there just in case. Lower belly pulls in. This is it for today. Unless you're a rock star, don't worry about straightening your legs. This is all about engaging and activating the low belly while having proper placement. No stress on the neck. Just in time for Ellie to come down. And just like that, magic Ellie's gone. Play with it a few times. If this is a major fear point for you, this stance here, come to tripod. So let's stand on tripod. Hands again are under the shoulders. This time instead of elbow, it's your hand. You're gonna kind of take like a frog pose, drop the crown of the head, and then just practice coming up. Little baby ball. Essentially, you're just getting the brain used to being inverted. The bulk of us are pretty strong. Like I know the people watching this. And you're capable of this. Just getting your brain okay with being upside down and then trusting your body to take care of itself. So we use the wall when we first get started just to prevent that somersault situation. Because if you're not used to tucking and rolling, you might get a little kink in the neck. So go for it, play with it for a few minutes, and then we'll come back to center. Oh, it's so awkward sitting here. Keep going. Be sure to pull the lower belly up and in. Press through the elbows or the hands, whichever part of the body is firm on the ground. And for me, it helps to also concentrate on my feet. Really flexing and pulling my toes apart brings the tension through the entire body, from the crown of the head to the tip of the toe, and helps me feel more integrated and prepared. And if you're like, this is not for me, just take a child's pose. You don't have to turn off the tape. Tape. Yeah. You don't have to turn off the upload. You've got another few moments to play here. The rest of us who are ready, we will meet in child's pose. Now, 
If you're still in your headstand, meet in child's pose. Two more cycles of breath. Lift your torso up. We're going to come to a seated wide leg situation here. So, if you feel pulling behind the knees, shorten the stance. If in general this is too much, sit on a pillow, sit on a block. Spine is straight up and down. Heels are pulling forward, toes are pulling backward, flexing the foot. And then point. And flex. And point and stay. You're gonna kind of windshield wiper the torso closer to the ground. We're not going all the way just yet. We're gonna stop midway. Maybe that's far enough for you, but we're gonna work on some more shoulder stuff. Bring your right arm under your right knee and just drop forward. Gently press up, remove the hand. If you're very open in the shoulders and this is a very easy pose for you, you're just gonna put both arms out underneath your, or your, your legs. The rest of us, we're gonna go one at a time. So left arm under. Pull back up. Coming into a star pose here. So uh, butterfly legs a bit further away from the pelvis. Right arm's going to come underneath as far as you can get it underneath that right knee. And gently rise up. Other side. shoulders really good okay now we're gonna do rock the baby I think we did this earlier in the series right knee lifts up if you can just grab the foot awesome if you want more you put the foot in the elbow if you can want more here it is you can even work on like pump jacking that right if that feels better here, if that gets into different parts of the muscle as opposed to side to side. Release, other side. Always starting nice and slow, like, okay, here feels good, right? Don't just um, trust that what was possible yesterday is possible today. Because let me tell you, this turning 40 is for the bird. I mean, it beats the alternative, but good lord. And release. We're going to do another shoulder dynamic issue here, stretching issue. So you're going to just bend this left leg how it has been, take the right leg, try to get it over your shoulder. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. But from here, you're going to place that right hand on the ground and then 
Work your left hand to the outside. If you can open your chest up and grab your foot, that is called compass pose. You can see my compass is a little bent, but I need the opening in the shoulders. As you're ready, bring your legs long, arms by your side. Take a moment. Land here now. your next exhale, blow out all of the air in your body. Take a deep and full nourishing inhale. And sigh. Make your way to a fetal position on either side. where love and light abides, acknowledges the same place in each of you. And together we say, Namaste. Thank you, my loves. I think tomorrow's our last class. Ah! 
But August, I will be coming to you live from Turks and Caicos. Not live. From Turks and Caicos. Okay, bye!